What's life? What makes us alive? We humans live, as do so many creatures around us, but isn't it interesting that with life all around, we still don't know what it is. Physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and a host of other disciplines study life, but all they see is matter, and none of them can really say with any absolute certainty what all-pervasive life is. Now, this same paradox was expressed by a Hungarian Nobel laureate in physiology and medicine, a very religious scientist, Albert St. Georgi, who lamented, in my search for the secret of life, I ended up with atoms and electrons which have no life at all. Somewhere along the line, life has run out through my fingers. So in my old age, I'm now retracing my steps. You know, the truth is that scientists, empiricists, will never be able to honestly say what all-pervasive life is. The reason is the approach is wrong. If you look for deserts in the ocean, you're never going to find them. Although we see the effect of life, such as birth, growth, reproduction, dwindling, and death, we never see life itself. Now I ask you, can you say what life is? What is it that makes you alive, that makes you tick, do you know? Well, here's what I've learned what I have learned is that the approach to life has to be different than that of science. If you want to know about life, you have to learn about it by hearing from the supreme life, from the original source of life, from life itself. Now you may ask where, how. My answer is learn from the book of life. And that book is called the Bhagavad Gita. Philosophers, yogis, and great saints all agree that that is the book of life spoken by the supreme life, Krishna. It explains that life is elusive to sensual perception because it's not matter, it's antimatter. It's transcendental, it's consciousness. But if you want to know more, read the Bhagavad Gita for yourself. Then you'll better understand and better appreciate what life is, what your life is, how life is meant to be lived, and what the purpose of your life is. Don't be like the Nobel laureate. Don't find out in your old age that in being so busy living, life has actually run out through your fingers.